Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my cool. Um, if you guys could see like um, the bloopers of making these videos, whew, I don't know. It makes you kind of second guess why you're doing things sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to cut out the stuff I've done because I made this video five times. Um, and every time my audio went out. So I'm just going to explain to you what I'm doing and then skip the cutting process because you guys, you guys know how to die cut anyway. And then we're going to move to creating um, the image. All right. So what we're doing is that we're using the fancy dies from Hero Arts. And these are the cloudy um, sky scene. And um, we're going to use the clouds to make a die. I mean to make a stencil and use the stencil to um, color our image. Now I've already made those stencils and I used it because I did make a card. Um, but we're gonna just show you what I did. So I got a six by six piece of acetate and I just flopped the, the die where I wanted it and I cut it out. Now when I cut it, I kept both pieces very important because um, you're going to want to use both pieces when you're doing um, a darker cloudy sky, right? So I'm just going to wipe these off so we can start off with a clean slate and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm double checking my audio is still working. So th this is what we have. We have the two pieces. Now, Normally in your traditional stencils, you have something like this, right? You would ink up and let me show you a sample and you would get something like that, right? For my dark sky, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to use this part of the stencil and that's just um, really for um, dramatic effect. Now um, you can use some of this just to add some extra clouds in the background. But we're going to start off with this one and I'm using uh, the hammer mill um, cardstock. I purchased it and I'm really liking how smooth it is. So if um, you guys have thought about it for inking, it's pretty good. Um, it feels nice. So I'm going to figure out where I want my image, right? Because that's very important. And I'm going to have my image basically around there just because I want to add um, a tree on the side so I think that's gonna work and I'm just gonna tape all this down we're gonna tape that part and we're gonna tape over here it's probably still gonna move so just hold on to it really tight and hopefully it won't shift that much now I'm gonna start off with my purple and I'm going to ink this and I'm going to try to put as much color and make it as deep as I can. It's just a really dark tone. Remember, this is for Halloween. If you're going to do um, a, a scene for, you, you know, you can do a dark scene, but with blues instead for your Christmas cards too, especially if you're doing like a night scene, maybe with some polar bears sitting on the bottom looking at the sky and you wanted to add a little bit of clouds to it also. This is a, a good way to do that. So we have that going on. And then maybe we're gonna bring some um, of the chip sapphire in and just keep adding to our clouds and making a really dramatic and pop. And now let's say you wanted to add um, your last layer, but you wanted to make another um, another type of cloud. Well, then we can just grab another stencil. Let's see which one we have. And let's maybe use, I want to use a different one. All right, let's maybe use this one. And now we could come in with our black and do our last layer. We can even like move a little bit into that color. All right, let's do that. 
that. So it's just adding different layers. Um, it's the same thing you would do with paper, right? But you're doing it with, um, I'll use this brush. You're doing it with inking instead. All right, let's add some black there. Just adding another layer. That's all you're doing. And then when you remove it, you have that going on. So in the camera, it looks lighter. You remember my lighting is always a little bright, but if we angle it right, you can see that it's pretty dramatic. I got a little ink there, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna color that blue anyway. So let's put these inks away. And now we're gonna come in with another blue. Uh, maybe this time we'll use the sketch. Uh, where's my covers? Okay, there goes one. Oops. There goes the purple. And there goes that one. We're going to leave our green out. And we're also going to leave the brown. And now we're going to bring in our blueprint. Okay. So to do the other side, um, we're going to use the opposite. And we're going to cover our stencil, our, our, what we stenciled with this mask. Because now we're going to call it a mask. <laughs> and now we're going to add color onto that just to color in our sky, right? So let's try to get another blue brush. Which I'm gonna, you know what? Let me use this one. Okay. This has no ink. It's washed. I just have to wash it again. All right. So let's start. Um, inking our sky All right. and you see there's a little white spot we can just bring that up a little bit and come back and ink that as well I'm going to be careful around this part <clears throat> because the stencil is really small there and um, I don't I don't want to fuss with that. So you just ink until your heart's content. Do you want to add another color in um, and maybe do you want to add an orange or a green? In, in a case like this, you can just come and just add ink just to soften that up. Not too much. Uh, just like that. You can ink it better. This is just for demonstration only. So um, just to show you what you can do. Now, if you see now, once you put your image on it, your eye is drawn to the center where your image is. It's you're framing your image, right? So now my eye automatically goes to there. Just for fun, I might add some orange just to make some of this glow. It's a, a spooky card, right? A Halloween card. You can add any color you want. And um, I might add some green to the bottom. So let's do that. If you have another um, piece of acetate, make make your grass or make a hill. And um, that would be cool. <laughs> All right, but just for time's sake, I'm just gonna ink this up. All right. And then we could come back with some brown on the bottom just to darken it up a little bit. So you're, you're building layers like you would with um, separate pieces of cardstock, right? It's, it's all about um, the illusion. Uh, we're gonna do that. And then you can decide what you wanna do with the center part. Do you wanna add a different color? I'm just gonna finish it off with the blue. Just going a little lighter as I go along. 
I still was brought out darker and then lighten it up a little bit. The house is going to cover that part, so I'm not too worried about it. And then you can always come back with your green and just blend that all in. So then you have something that resembles a hot mess, but it's not, I promise. It's going to work. Okay. Now we're going to take our tree and we're going to put a tree down. Now I had it here because again, I was already doing this. <laughs> when I had a million accidents and I'm not, I'm just gonna lay a piece of cardstock on there so it doesn't get damaged. All right, I'm just gonna see where this one is at and I'm just gonna, eh, I want a little more in the corner, maybe right there. So we're gonna ink this up with um, VersaFine. I just didn't wanna remove it. You know how it is, you gotta really clean it. If not, it's gonna make a hot mess. Okay. And now we have that going on. Okay, so you have all that done and you wanna add some sparkle to your sky, right? You wanna make some stars because let's face it, um, even if you have clouds, if you see some of the sky, you might see some of the stars. So we're gonna just put this on again as a mask. And we're gonna take some sparkle ink from Spectrum Noir, just a paintbrush. Or if you wanted to, you can use a Tim Holtz um, brush, the splatter. But I'm just gonna use this. And now I'm just gonna add some sparkle to my sky. Uh, maybe just get a little bit more, maybe get some bigger splotches in there. All right. And I think we're good to go. All right. I'll show you what that looks like. And let's see if we can get a good image. I'll insert a picture so you can see it better. But uh, that's what we have. So when we come back and we add our colored image, our focal point, and we add it to our little scene. Now look what you've created. And that was just using ink. Of course, I would make sure that I got this part right. If you don't mind the white showing, then by all means, but I would have covered that better. Um, but you have a cool little background for your scene using a stencil that you made out of dyes that you already have out of plastic that you most likely already have. So there you go. That's my project. Um, hopefully this one comes out well, and I hope this helps you. If it does, drop me a line. If you have any questions, just um, leave a comment or message or email me, and I'll be more than happy to answer whatever I can. Anyway, guys, have a great one. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.